Hey everybody, it's Stove Talk with Matt. We're going to do a mid-winter chimney inspection. Um, whenever if you have a new stove, or you're operating your stove differently, or you have maybe wet wood and your wood isn't seasoned, it's a good idea, maybe if you're burning a few cords of wood in the winter, to do a quick inspection to make sure you're not getting creosote build up, or at least in the first few years until you really know your stove. Um, so I just popped the cap. You know, it's pretty simple. These, these caps, these caps come off with just a regular screwdriver. Can you see that? Yeah. And pretty simple. They call it radiator clamps. And you want to check for creosote versus fly ash. This is just fly ash. No big deal. No big deal. I'm hoping you can see everything. Yeah, it's, it's covered in this fine ash. It's probably just an eighth of an inch. Let me see if I can turn the light off here. No creosote. Just powdery stuff. Just powder. It's real soft. There's nothing to it. None of this can burn. It's already burned. It cannot burn again. And it's not good for your stove. You build up a quarter inch. This is, you know, I don't know. This is a sixteenth of an inch of fly ash. Creosote would be harder, crustier. It'd be some flakes. Just this little ash. You know, it's nothing. You don't have to worry about that. You need to clean it at the end of the year because it will ultimately restrict your draft a bit. But there's no danger here for a chimney fire. Zero. Um, and again, I've, I've I burn my stove so hot, I don't, you know, I'm not an expert in this. I've never seen creosote, I've just, I've, I've watched a lot of videos on it. But it's harder, flakier, stickier, chunkier, you know. You start getting that, you need to be careful, but, but, I just want to show you what, it looks ugly, people that don't know the difference, oh, there's creosote everywhere, nope. No problem at all. Fly ash, zero risk. Oh, one other thing guys, if you can't pop the cap off or you have a different kind of cap and it's not as easy as mine, it's still worth doing an inspection. You know, you can see in here a little bit, and the reason this is worth doing, if you can't pop your cap off, you do it easily, it's the middle of winter, because creosote buildup is going to be the worst at the top, or the first three or four feet down. Creosote buildup is going to be the worst where it gets cold and damp and is farther away from the fire. So your worst incidences of creosote should be in the top three to five feet. I've seen people where their caps are just crusted over. If your cap is, is clean, there's a chance you don't even need to pop the cap off. You're good all the way down. If there was creosote buildup, you'd see it. You'd see it here. You'd see it here. So uh, just some you don't know stoves, you might think, oh, the, bo the bottom, I can't see the bottom 15 or 20 feet down. Creosote's going to be much, much less down there. If you're, if you're good at the top, you're generally good at the bottom. No, I'm not a, uh, a licensed chimney sweep, so just a disclaimer. Thanks for watching.